Hi, I'm Leah from Salvage Studio, and in Soul Lounge today we're going to make record boxes out of album covers. Okay, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need an awesome album cover. A straight edge ruler, preferably uh, clear, so you can see through it. Makes it a little bit easier. Exacto knife, razor blade, some glue, and some sort of clip. I like these clips here, but paper clips will work just fine um, to hold your edges together while they dry. And something to cut on so you don't ruin your table. Okay, so we'll take our album first. First thing we're going to do is just cut along the sides here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut all of our edges off, just a little bit. open it up. You have the lid of your box and the bottom of your box there. We'll go ahead and start with the lid. I'm going to flip it over and measure in three inches on all the sides. going to do is we have to make the corners so that you can fold your box up like this. So I'm going to actually just cut out a triangle out of each of these squares in the corner. The way you do that is just connect a straight line from the corner to where your two lines you just drew meet up. Like that. All the way around. Follow one of those lines just so I can pull that triangle out. So, next, what we're going to do is score our edges to give it a little help folding. So you want to turn it right side up and line your ruler up with those edges you just cut. And very gently, you don't want to go all the way through it, you just want to kind of break just the surface of the record. You're going to run your razor blade along there. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to line up those two corners and just lightly Cut that. We can fold up the edges and our corner pieces will fold in. And see how it's going to come together here. But first we have to put a little glue here to keep it all intact. <clears throat> So I've got a little bit of glue on each of my corner pieces there. I'm going to flip this up. And get it positioned where it needs to be and then I'll just slip a clip over the top to hold it in place. Okay. So while that dries, we will, <laughs> she looked cute. We're gonna do the bottom of our box, which is very similar, except when you measure 
and make your markings. You want to make your um, the base of your box about an eighth of an inch bigger. So we measured three inches out for this box. We're going to measure three and an eighth out. I've marked it here with some blue tape just so I, it's easier to find. Let me get that all lined up. I'm going to mark it so it's just about an eighth of an inch bigger on each side than the lid. <clears throat> Okay, so I have all my lines drawn. I'm going to cut out my corners exactly the same way I did it for the top of my box. And we're going to, again, score all of our edges so they have a nice, clean fold. Okay, we are going to do the same thing. Square up our corners. Now we have a bottom as soon as they're dry. You can just pop them together and we'll have a little box. Until next time, happy crafting!